Now, if you have Harry Potter fans in the family, a visit to Sydney's Powerhouse Museum is almost as exciting as a trip to Hogwarts. The museum is showcasing hundreds of artefacts from the Harry Potter films in the largest exhibition it has ever held. Potter enthusiast Sarah Sedgy previewed the collection and met the Weasley twins. A good day at the office for Sarah. Welcome, welcome. Step right this way, there's much to see. Step lively there. Level 3 of the Powerhouse Museum has become Hogwarts. There's over a thousand square metres of original film artefacts invoking memories from each of the eight Harry Potter films. Harry. What? <sighs> Eddie Newquist was part of creating the exhibition and for him it was a very special journey. We met with the filmmakers and worked on a couple of different concepts, and then we met with all the department heads who created everything you see in the exhibition. And we learned about their favorite items and some of the items that took the most amount of time to create. And then we brought that all together. And then we went to Leaveston Studios and worked for many, many weeks going through every single artifact. The only place that we could do that that was large enough was the Great Hall. So they moved all the tables to the center, and we laid out every artifact in the exhibition in the Great Hall, and then were able to sort it and bring it to life. So it was really a very, very special, special experience. We really went through and wanted to pick items that we felt were um, meaningful to fans. So we, of course, we've got Harry's wand, we've got Harry's glasses, we've got his Marauder's map, but we also wanted to make sure we had items from Ron and from Hermione. So we, we just spent a lot of time going through all the different films and selecting things that we thought fans would have an emotional connection to. Morning, Weasleys! Morning! The first thing I have to ask is, where's the red hair? Uh, the red hair is back in the bottle. <laughs> Thank God. It won't be coming out for yeah. a long time. It was, uh, it was quite a process for ten years to be a ginger all the time. <laughs> and the bleach, at least the bleach, the eyebrows and everything. So I can't say I miss it too much. Okay, come on. Shh. Like many Harry Potter fans, I grew up with the stories. But for the young actors involved in the films, they did some growing up on the set. It's not much, but it's home. I think it's brilliant. We were 40 when we started shooting. It's crazy how a whole generation has grown up with it. Um, but if there's one thing I could go back and change from the first movie, it would be the tone of my voice. Like, <laughs> it's, it's painful to listen to. Fred, you next. He's not Fred, I am. Honestly, woman, you call yourself our mother. Oh, I'm sorry, George. Take us back to the beginning. How did you get involved in the films? We did the really good thing, as all boys of our age did. We heard that there was an audition for the film and we'd have to miss school for it. So, it's like, yes, we'll do that. Um, and Should then we it was... stay in school. stay in school. Um, <laughs> but it was one of those things where we just... We thought, well, why not? What are we going to lose if we, don't, if we don't go for this? And then... I mean, it, it took about four or five auditions later when we met the director and the producer and stuff. And, uh, yeah, little did we know how, how distant our, our life would be, you know, from there. How much for this? Five galleons. How much for me? Five galleons. I'm your brother. Ten galleons. As the Weasley brothers, you had to say a lot of the same lines at the same time and finish each other's sentences. Was that hard to act? Not no. really. <laughs> no, it does happen every now and then. The Harry Potter stories have reached millions across the world and everyone has their favourite Harry Potter moment. Uh, For me, it'd be the Yule Ball from the Goblet of Fire, which I mean, some of the costumes are here today. Um, and just because like, we had to learn how to do the waltz and the foxtrot, which is something which I don't know, I was 18 and listened to heavy metal music and then also them doing the foxtrot, which was quite... A unique experience, but I'm glad I did it. And it was just, it was just a fun. That's just a fun scene to to all be a part of. And everyone has a favourite Harry Potter movie. The Goblet of Fire was one of my favourite ones to work on. Seeing a few of the costumes here and stuff from that film made me made me smile a lot. Yes. 